Hi everyone and welcome back. If you're new in here, hi, my name is Irina. I'm an illustrator and today I'll teach you how to create this beautiful illustration as a Procreate beginner. That's right, you can be an absolute beginner and still create beautiful art. I'm confident that you can do this, so grab your pencil, keep on watching and let's do this together. First, we're gonna open the Procreate app and create a new canvas. I am using my go-to canvas size, which is 3000 on 4000 pixels at a 300 dpi resolution and the color profile is the sRGB. Okay, now we're done with the boring technical stuff, we can actually start drawing. I'm gonna use my favorite background color, which is, you guessed, black, and then pick a bright red. You can always pause the video and see the hex code above the color palette, but I'm gonna make things easier for you guys, cause I'm nice like that and stick the color on the screen so it's right in front of you all the time. Now, let's pick our first brush. Go to the inking category and choose the ink bleed brush. Then start drawing an upside down V. Take your time drawing it, there is no rush to do this. You can color it the old fashioned way or just take advantage of the digital app and close the shape with an arch and fill it by dragging the color just like I do in the video. You know me, I can't stay away from the transform tool so let's use it on distort to change a little bit the perspective of the shape. Doing this is just so much easier than erasing everything and drawing it again and again. Okay, now let's switch the brush to the studio pen from the same inking category to draw a very smooth bottom edge. When you're done, create a new layer under the first one, choose a darker red and go back to the ink bleed brush to draw the side of the slice. We're gonna change brushes a lot in this video because as a beginner you need all the help you can get. This is what I like to call smart drawing, making the most of your tools. Don't forget to close your shape with a continuous line before filling it with color, otherwise the entire screen will turn out red. Ok, now I'll go back to the first layer and choose the transform tool on warp to straighten a little bit the right edge. I could have used the eraser instead to do that, but it's just easier this way. The next step is very important for the process, we have to alpha lock all the layers. You can either tap on them and choose alpha lock or swipe two fingers to the right like this. To add texture on the melon, I'm gonna choose the charcoal brush from my complete shading brush pack. I'm sorry you guys, I'm not trying to sell you my brushes, but I couldn't find a basic Procreate brush that could do this the right way. I'm gonna talk more about my brushes and what you can use instead if you don't have them in a little bit later in the video. Back to the drawing, use a darker red and slowly start building that texture on the second layer. Follow up with a bright red to add some luminosity. Then move to the first layer and do the same thing. If you don't own my brushes, you can try using the airbrush instead. I usually avoid it just cause I think it looks a little bit kitschy and unprofessional. But hey, what do I know? This is just my opinion, so you do you. Let's pause the tutorial for a minute and let me show you how my brushes work. Oh, wait, is this shameless self-promotion? Uh, yeah, pretty much it is. But I promise, these brushes are really good and the best part, some of them are even free to download. So, let's be honest, the tools you use really make a difference. That's why professional artists are so picky about what they use. I have always, always thought that all you need to become a good artist is motivation and a good brush, so I had to create the perfect one. I worked on that for about 2 years, but I ended up with not one but 15 different brushes that I swear by. These brushes will elevate your art, add texture to your illustration and help you create beautiful realistic transparencies in a matter of seconds. They will allow you to experiment and find your own personal amazing style. I promise, these are the Procreate brushes you'll actually love to use. Don't take my word for it, just check the ratings on Gumroad. Ok, back to the tutorial, we're gonna work on the green part of the melon slice. Start by creating a new layer on top of the first layer and make it a clipping mask. Choose a very light green and for the brush go to the painting section and choose Fresco. 
This is a basic Procreate brush and I guess it was created to be used as a watercolor. But hey, we're thinking out of the box here. The trick here is to add delicate strokes. And I mean delicate. Repeat all the steps for the other layer while I catch my breath here. When you're done, create a new layer and position it right at the bottom. With a darker green and a studio pen brush, draw a small piece of the melon rind. Leave it like that for now cause we're gonna go back to this later. Ok, now let's alpha lock all the layers and create a new clipping mask to add some more details. The brush I'll be using is my favorite brush ever, the pretty famous recycled paper brush. You can find it in both the complete and the essential brush packs. Now I have a few recommendations that apply to all of my tutorials, not just this one. If I'm drawing too fast for you, please pause the video at any time, especially when I'm showing the layers or the tool selections. You can always see the color that I'm using just looking at the color dot on the right upper corner of the iPad. Also, keep an eye on the two bars on the left side of the screen to estimate the brush size and opacity. This is pretty obvious, but the tool that I currently use is always highlighted with blue. I'm here to help, so if there are things you did not understand, please reach out and ask everything in the comment section. I promise I will do my best to make everything clear for you. You can also slow down the video from the YouTube video player and turn on the subtitles if you have a hard time understanding my English. Back to the drawing. I'm gonna pick a new brush, the organic one, to recreate that melon texture. I know, I'm using lots of brushes again, but I did mention that as a beginner, you need all the help you can get, right? Also, I want you to enjoy drawing this, so let the brushes do the work for you. Just remember to use very light strokes, not pressing too hard the pencil on the screen. Not like that. If you make a mistake, do not worry, just tap two fingers to undo and start all over again. Ok, how are you guys doing so far? Are you keeping up with me? I trust you that you can draw this. You just need to be calm and trust the process. Do not rush, it is better to build up the volume and texture slowly. In this way they will look so much more realistic in the end. Just trust me. Now let's pick the splatters brush. This is part of my sparkles brushes, which are absolutely free to download and I promise they are really good. I write down the link in the video description. We'll use this brush to create an even more realistic melon texture. The trick here is to alternate different tones of colors. Just go darker and darker until you're happy with the result. When you're done, merge the clipping mask layers. Pinch them together just as I do here. Remember that I said we're gonna go back to the melon rind? Now's the time to do that. Turn off the alpha lock on the layer and with a studio pen brush and a dark green, draw a thin rind at the bottom of the melon slice.
If you need to refine the shape, use the transform tool on warp. And of course I do, I can't help myself. Alpha lock the layer again to do the shading. In my opinion, the slice looks pretty good at this point, so can you guess what's still missing? Yep, the seeds! Create a new layer on top of everything. And with black and a studio pen brush, start drawing the seeds one by one. Take your time and don't worry too much about their placement. Now, create a new layer under the seeds, go back to the ink bleed brush, the one we used in the beginning of the video, pick a dark red and start drawing little seed shapes into the melon slice. I promise this is gonna make sense once we do the shading. Add some more empty shapes to make the slice more realistic. Now alpha lock the layer, go back to the good old recycled paper brush and add some tiny lights to the shapes. Then go back to the seed layer, pick this pinkish brown color, zoom in and let's create some volume on the seeds. This is going to take a while, but I promise it's worth it spending the time on them. We're pretty much done and the illustration is already looking so good, right? You've come so far, it would be a shame not to make this look the absolute best. Remember, you can do this, I have faith in you. Now, I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite tricks for realistic illustration. I use this all the time. I promise it's so easy and it makes a huge, huge difference. Create a new layer under the seeds and their contour shapes. This should be your third layer in the layer box. Then pick the selection tool on freehand and start drawing this shape on the top of the melon slice. Take all the time that you need, but don't worry too much, the less perfect, the better it will look in the end. Now grab a light pink and my organic brush. and draw with very light strokes on top of this selection. Okay, we just created the most beautiful wet highlight. 
You can also use the recycled paper brush for this step. And we are ready. Merge all the layers and then you can use the transform tool again if you want to perfect your slice some more. To finish this, go to Actions, Canvas, Canvas Information, and name your new illustration. Also, don't forget to sign it, you've done such a good job and you should be proud. Then you are ready to export the illustration and share it with the world. Thank you so much for watching this, let me know in a comment if you like the tutorial and please share your illustrations with me on Instagram, I'd love to see them. You'll find my account in the video description. Also, if you're already there, hit the DM button and say hi. Good job everyone, see you on my next one. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to make sure you won't miss it, of course.